Welcome, 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 everybody, to another of hopefully many more book talks to come. We got a good one for you today, so sit back, relax, and lend me your ears. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. Eyes to... Good Lord. Sorry, he gets a little needy sometimes. Drop me a title card, Morgan. Thank you, sir. I'm Steven, constant reader, librarian at Cinco Ranch Branch in Katy, and man seen here riding ponies outside the local department store. Ladies and gentlemen, the magic of Photoshop. This is what we're doing now? <laughs> oh, geez. So, where were we? So lately I've had a hankering to read more international fiction, and wouldn't you know it, serendipity guided me in the direction of this gem. Scrublands, an unflinching crime novel that packs some heavyweight punches. Journalist Chris Hammer comes out swinging with this crackerjack fiction debut about a reporter doggedly pursuing the truth behind a mass shooting in the periphery of the Australian outback. Scrublands is set in the sun-baked town of Riversend, a sparsely populated community in crisis. The parched, isolated town is suffering a slow, agonizing death due to... <laughs> Wait, what? Wow, that is a deep 90s cut. Actually, the isolated country town has been plagued by drought, fires, and a trigger-happy priest who gunned down five parishioners before he himself was mortally wounded by the local constabulary. A year later, the wound still cuts deep. World-weary journalist and love em and leave em charmer Martin Skarsden is dispatched to write an anniversary piece on how the townsfolk is coping in the aftermath of the shootings. But Skarsden isn't content to write a simple human interest story. No, sir. In fact, his journalistic instincts are firing on all cylinders as he refuses to accept the official explanation for the murders. In the course of his investigation, Skarsden meets some of the town misfits who suffer tragedies of their own. Getting at the truth will cause a lot of pain for both Martin and the locals alike. Now I know what you're thinking. Steven, that all sounds nice and well, but I like me a burning mystery wrapped in a riddle inside an enigma. Check! With rage and breast fires and plot twists aplenty, Scrublands is a book that keeps on giving. Specifically a broader mystery that turns into another mystery, then forks into more mystery until you're all tangled up in whodunits. Yeah, but I want a book with well-realized characters that are determined, damaged, and dangerous. Check, check, and check. Scrublands features an ensemble cast of eccentric characters, some of whom are salt-of-the-earth types, some are socially appalling, while others are just everyday folks like that next-door neighbor who's always pestering you to come see his band. My excuse Rolodex is getting quite the workout. You jest, but what about location, location, location? I need a book with a setting that's basically another character. You got it. Chris Hammer's description of the dying Riverina town with its boarded up shop fronts and tinder dry Australian landscape are both evocative and atmospheric. Mark my words, you will feel the red dust and oppressive heat beating down on you as though you were a character in this story. Reading this book in a swimming pool won't help you. Trust me on this. If gritty, multi-layered noirs are your poison, then Scrublands is right up your alley. Sure, it's a complex mystery, but not overly so. If you're into such esteemed titles by Jane Harper or Gary Disher, then look no further, because this book says move over and hold my beer. Don't let this slice of Australian noir languish in your be red pile. Give it a go. You'll be glued to the pages from start to finish. Well, we're almost out of time. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Leave a comment down below. 
let me know what book you'd like me to tackle next. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay true to your shelves. I gotta get a new catchphrase.